I, I think what my friends and readers will enjoy about this book, at least I hope they do, uh, because it's what I enjoy about it, is the exciting backdrop. It is uh, the spirits of the GAN, uh, refers to the GAN railway. This is the backdrop, the, the magnificent railway that is virtually like the backbone of the nation, travelling from south to north, or north to south, dependent upon which direction you're going. Uh, but it's it, it, the, the leg from Alice Springs to Darwin wasn't built until the early 2000s, and this is the period where my novel is set, and this is the backbone of it, this glorious desert area, and the characters that, that I come into play with there. So uh, I think that's, that's one of the elements that excited me, and the other is the structure of the book where I actually, as the book unfolds, there are flashbacks that actually take the reader to what my protagonists in the book itself are trying to find out. And the thing is, at the end of the book, they never do, but the reader does. So it's something I haven't done before, and that's very exciting to me. So I think that might really intrigue readers. The inspiration, my inspiration for Spirits of the GAN was actually travelling on the GAN. Uh, my husband and I did a trip on it. Uh, and absolutely adored it, but I actually have had for a long time a great love affair with the desert too. I love the Australian desert, which has so many facets to it. And the spirituality that you achieve, the feeling that you get from being out in the desert. And this book, Spirits of the Gan, does have a, a, quite a spiritual edge to it, as well as the pageantry of the, the history, etc.